Hi and welcome to the Starship Review and today we are going to take a brief look at the Super Nintendo. Well, first of all I want to start off and say sorry I haven't made a whole lot of videos in the past year but hopefully this year it'll change. Of course I have my own shop now and I'll be dedicating a lot of time to it so we'll see how that goes. But let's get started. This is the Super Nintendo. Uh, for all you youngsters out there who have never seen one, all you know is the Super Nintendo Classic with 20-something built-in games. <laughs> uh, this is a Super Nintendo. Uh, this is actually one I have for sale in my shop. Uh, pretty good price. It's pretty clean, too. And, um, yeah, what can I say about the Super Nintendo? It was one of the consoles that defined the 16-bit era. Um which at the time it started with um, Sega Genesis, TurboGrafx-16, and then of course you have the Super Nintendo who came in uh, as one of the uh, last major 16-bit consoles that was released, um, having been released in 1991. Um, Nintendo really had a hit on their hands when the original Nintendo came out in 85. And so, you know, of course, there's going to be a follow-up to something that's successful. Um, so, this is the Super Nintendo. Uh, let's take a brief uh, look at it. Uh, of course, you have the front here. You have your power button, your reset, and of course, this is the eject button. You would press this, and uh, it would eject your game like that. And... Um, yeah, it was that simple. Of course, on the back you had your uh, composite. Uh, it was set up for, uh, I'm sorry, composite. It was a uh, RCA, well, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, your video cables, uh, which I call RCA. Uh, some people call it composite, of course, you know. Um, and then, of course, you had your RF. Uh, if you, you know, didn't have a TV that had your um, RCA, your ye uh, red, yellow, and red, uh, you could use uh, coaxial instead, your RF. Um, and this, of course, was the controller. You had your A, B, X, Y, start, select, and your D-pad. And of course, you have these shoulder buttons left, right, which these were not on the original Nintendo. And of course, these additional buttons weren't on the original Nintendo. Of course, you had your, your A, your B, uh, start, select, and your D-pad here. It was all on original Nintendo, so that was a change from the original console, uh, well, from the original system itself. Uh, so, let's fire it up. I have Super Mario Brothers here, as you see. We're going to show that as an example. And I'm going to have to blow in the cartridge. <laughs> There we go. Of course, everyone who knows about Nintendo, you have to blow in the cartridge. Um, what's fascinating about that is that there's children who come into my shop over the past couple years. And um, they're like four or five years old. And immediately when they see a Nintendo cartridge, they blow into it and then put it in the system. It's like it's instinct. It's like... A primal instinct that's been embedded into their minds, uh, inherited from their parents. It's just one of those things. Um, it really fascinates me because uh, I spoke with a gentleman once. Uh, actually, it was we. He was looking at a Super Nintendo, and he said um, he showed his son. This is a Super Nintendo. His son immediately turned the console off, took the cartridge out, blew on it, put it back on. Or put it back in. Sorry, <laughs> tongue tied today. He put it, the cartridge back in, and he said, "Where did you learn how how to do that, son?" And he said, "I don't know." And that really fascinated me. So that could be the next great debate: <laughs> uh, is it instinct? Now we'll let you decide. Anyway, that's a brief overview of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, if you have any suggestions for future consoles, we should take a look at. Of course, I don't go too in-depth with these. Um, 
I've just more or less just showcased them um, to show, you know, what they look like, you know, for reference, and I give a little bit of information about them. But if you have any suggestions for future consoles, um, just let us know. Um, remember to like and subscribe, and um, if we, you know, feel the need, we'll make more videos soon. Um, until next time, this is the Starship Review signing off. I'll see you.